We are live. Thanks everyone for being here on the Solar Academy bi-weekly webinar. And I am the Solar Joe. And today we have an awesome guest coming from the great state of Florida. Um, he is really good at solar marketing, especially using video. So he's coming on here, giving us some tips. Frank Emmons. Thanks so much for being here, Frank. Yeah, man. I appreciate you letting me come on and share a little bit of insights. And love the show. Love uh, what you what you do and what you've been doing for solar objections and the whole solar industry, man. Thanks. Awesome. And this is going to be for the Solar Academy students, but we also are going live from the Solar Objections Facebook group to get even a bigger audience to give even more value. So a uh, shout out to the group. Um, now, so today we're going to kind of, you know, help the audience with some solar marketing, but kind of using video. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, man. We're going to talk a lot about video and uh, how it works and how you can really set yourself apart with it. So before we get into that, maybe not everybody knows who Frank Ammons is. Would you go give us a little bit of your background and how, how you got into where you are now? Well, um, I am accompanied with my beautiful wife, Mary, and we've been together for five years. We have five kids and we just had a little one just born uh, a little bit before Christmas this past year. And, uh, you know, we live in Lakeland, Florida, right between Tampa and Orlando. And we're enjoying the weather right now, man, because it's like, you know, the low seventies and breezy and, you know, everybody's gearing up for that weather. Cause usually it's like 90% hot most of the year. So, or raining. Um, but yeah, that's, that's me. I've been in the solar industry for seven years now and, uh, was one of the first to get started in Florida and really try to do it big. And so, um, really love the solar industry. I love what everything it stands for and what products that uh, it, it provides and how it helps homeowners. So can you just talk a little bit before you get into it about the solar marketing that's going on right now with Facebook and YouTube and people doing their own ads and kind of copying each other? You want to talk about that a little bit first before we get into uh, what you're presenting for us? Yeah, man. I mean, obviously we have to market. We have to create customers and we have to get more people uh, attention and create leads. So, you know, these are the things that it's required to do business. We have to put ourselves in front of more people. And uh, obviously, there's a number of ways to do that, whether it's door knocking, whether it's bandit signs, whether it's actual traditional advertisement, um, or if it's actual paid ads like a lot of people do. And uh, all those things I think you should consider if you're not doing already. I know everywhere I've ever been a part of whatever company that I was either running or a part of, it was always a mixed bag because some things, you know, they, they re, you know, react differently to certain items and different uh platforms and opportunities. So um, I always suggest a mixed bag. And then those that are performing higher, obviously put more emphasis in more investment in, um, but always have a different, you know, you know, wheelhouse of marketing opportunities, because there's different things that people respond to on a different situation all the time. Speaking of that, one of those things is video. So Frank is going to do a little presentation of solar marketing tips using video. But if you guys have any questions, go ahead, put it in the uh, comment section. Uh, we'll get it answered. Um, if you have any comments, go ahead, put it in there. I'll get to it. Frank won't be able to see it. I'll be able to see it. I'll convey it to him. Um, but Frank, go ahead. Do you want to start your um, presentation for us? Yeah, I mean, uh, let me just hit the share the screen here. Yes, sir. Get that started for you guys. I hope you guys can see. Everybody can see now. Yep. All right. So we'll just hit the presentation style there. So this presentation, guys, is uh, called Unignorable, the ultimate marketing strategy for long-term success. And, um, you know, basically what I'm going to cover or why you guys should care about this, um, I'm going to cover that here in a second. But first, I want to give you guys all a free gift. I come bearing gifts. So for Joe and anyone else watching, just text the word gift to that number there, 813-686. 6556. I won't tell you what the gift is, but it's definitely worth it. It's absolutely free. There's no sales pitch or nothing to it, but I want to help you. So go ahead and text that now. And then at the end of this presentation, I'll tell you what that is. So if you guys want to do that, but let's get into why you should care about what I'm talking about today. Well, um, basically this is going to answer this question. How can I grow my business without the constant requirement of paid ads? Right? So 
That's a curious question, and, th- and we're going to give you that answer today. But also, how can I lower my cost of customer acquisition? Like, how can I literally, you know, pay less but also get better returns, right? I mean, that's always something that anyone who's doing business and, you know, uh, whether you're the accounting or you're counting beings or you're, you're selling whatever you're selling, solar like we do, you want to get that cost of acquisition down. And so I think we're going to be able to answer that tonight for you. And then the third thing and the final thing is how can I build a sustainable known brand, right? How can I do that? Well, I think what I'm going to share with you is going to answer that, right? So for me, just so you guys know, I've been in marketing for 20 years. Um, every business on, uh, opportunity, whether I was in charge or ran or started the company or a part of the company, my role significantly had to do with marketing, right? Whether it was guerrilla marketing, whether it was online marketing, social media marketing, whether it was, you know, doing Yahoo and Bing ads <laughs> for Microsoft back in the day, or if it was doing Facebook ads, right? So I don't claim to be an expert by no means, but I do know that there are certain things that work and don't work and have certain results, right? So let's get into it. So today I'm presenting this called Power of the Video, Power of Video. Now, before I get into that, like I told Joe a little bit before we got on, nothing I'm going to share is like rocket science or not known for especially those who are in the solar industry. You guys are smart, very technical for the most part, capable people. You guys know what works and what doesn't work. Plus, we have these great groups like Solar Objections and others, you know, like the Solar Con. These people that are sharing these ideas have basically given the secret sauces to most of it. So if you've been following along these groups, you you can get you know answers to these hard questions. So, but today I'm not really going to be talking about you know, anything new, what I'm going to be talking about is actually the execution of using video and how the strategy that I'm going to share with you is effective and how it can be effective for your brand. So research shows video creates the KLT effect, right? What is the KLT effect? You may ask, right? So I'm glad you asked that because I'm going to give you the answer. Well, with video, people feel they know you, they like you, and they trust you. And we all know in sales, that's important. Well, video is the second best thing to not being in a person to creating that type of feeling, the KLT effect, which is they they begin to feel like they know you, they like you, and they trust you, right? So the video that you put together, that you present, that you market, that you promote, even like the video we're doing tonight, we're using video through Zoom, they can see us, they can hear us and, and things like that. So that creates what we know as know, like, and trust. And we know that's important, guys, right? Video is the like second the most thing. important. Like that's what it is right there. The once somebody gets there, especially homeowners for solar, once they know you, like you, and trust you, that's half the battle at least to get them over. Yeah. So thank you guys, Frank. Yeah. And so the, so video creates that without actually having to be there. Right. Even if it's recorded, it doesn't have to be live necessarily. So recording a video um, can create that as well. Right. So you can literally be in one, one place at one time because of video. So let's, let's talk about the data. Some of you guys who are data nerds, this will be for you. Uh, the data shows that video views are up across the board. You can see the graph there from 2007 till 2000 or 2021 and on up to this year. Video views are up, way up across the board. So what does that tell you? Consumption of video is where people are t- paying attention to, right? So... Let's get a little bit more into it. And that includes on every platform that includes on every, at every age group and the time and frequency of consumption. So even Twitter, who, who is still just 140 extended characters, video is up on their, their platform. Video is up on, of course, YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all these different video platforms. So video is up on every platform in every age group, and the time and frequency of consumption has increased as well, right? So video is is very strong and continues to trend up. So um, it's the most consumed content, right? We got written written content. We have, you know, graphics. We have things like that, but video still is number one. And it's actually taken more of a boost. In 2020, uh, the boost that really it it had the most came for these, uh, I'm sorry, well, the problem is, is businesses don't have time, the staff or equipment or expertise to be effective in this area, right? We all can agree 
We're out there busy selling solar. We're out there leading our teams. We're out there managing our operations. We're out there, you know, signing checks and paying bills and building our business. A lot of us don't have time to focus on this area of our, our, of our business, right? And so we really need a solution. Um, but still, video is the most powerful marketing tool, but it's useless if you don't use it, right? And not just once in a while. We're talking frequently all the time, consistently, right? So I didn't add this in the slide, but Joe, I wanted to share this. The three uh, secrets to great video response is quality, simplicity, and frequency, right? Quality, simplicity, and frequency, right? So when you create a video, have some quality, do some things that are going to present quality, but also make it simple enough where they understand and they have a clear, they understand the clear message that you're making. And then do those videos frequently, right? When you do that, you're able to get your message. And actually, I can give you some science and some data behind that. It, it really plants a seed in the subconscious that once they see video and hear video of you doing some of the same things over and over again, it's literally going to be something they automatically think of when they think of the thing that you offer, the service that you give, right? In this case, solar, right? And also, I would like, once that person sees you in real life, they feel like they already almost know you, even yes. though you may never have talked to that person in your life. Talk about yeah. that a little bit. That's, that's the KLT effect that I was talking about. That video can do that. Now, obviously, in person is still the most powerful, but second close is video, right? When you create video, when you're able to do video, um, that's when you're able to create that. And that's the second best thing to do besides being a person is you can literally create videos that are live, that are recorded, and can be played again. And you can even re-record a video and replay it live as if it's live, right? Um, those, th those are options that most of you guys already know about. And that's some of the things that some of the clients that I work with, we do is we create those opportunities, right? Mm, yeah. So let me talk about the mindset behind building a known brand, right? There's a, there's a few things and I love using quotes, Joe, to kind of set a tone from, for mindset. And, yeah. uh, some of these are known quotes, but I'm going to share them anyways. The only way to control the narrative is to create it. So if you want to get out in front of what people say about you, think about you, what you want people to know about you, you got to create that narrative, right? Do not be, you know, reactive, be proactive, right? Get the, out there and begin to talk, talk to people and tell them what you do and why you do what you do, the heart and the passion behind what you do. Uh, tell your story, begin to share the, the things that really make things go for you in your business and your company. And uh, that's one of the things that really is important. Another is money follows attention, right? I mean, let's be honest, money, uh, money follows attention. One of the things I love to say is security and money don't get along, mm. right? So if you can't create enough attention, you know, it's not likely you're going to have a lot of money, right? And we know we love money. We're in the solar industry. Money is everywhere in the solar industry. But if you want to build it, you know, in, 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 in the area and in, in the uh, levels that we know it can go, you're going to have to create some attention for yourself. And video is a great way to do that. Another is success can't find you if you're quiet, right? Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be crazy and you have to, you know, make, you know, you know, up crazy. There's people out there who make crazy videos and obviously we give those a lot of attention, right? But really video is a voice, right? What Joe, who, who can you think of out there who didn't have a business, uh, didn't really have any product and we didn't know them, but video really put them on a different level. Yeah. Who can you think of? Who can you think of? Who comes to mind? Um, probably those viral videos that people are doing. Well, I was going to say the Kardashians. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had no business. They had no products at the time. Right. But video is what put them on the maps. Right. True. Good point. Right. And, and, and a lot of people would even question their intelligence in some cases. Right. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. Right. Yeah. Let's be honest. But video have put them now they have billion dollar companies and products because they had obviously a reality show and obviously the reality show was video. And then they use that leverage of popularity to create the social media brands and, and leverage that and go to the next level with that. Right. So video has a very pow powerful element to it. Another quote is success is am uh, am admirable, but it's not something to hide. You don't hide success. Right. I mean, really success needs to be 
uh, promoted and talked about and shared because other people need examples, right? Joe and, and Jake and these guys who do these shows and these groups, these are what these platforms are about. How can we help you be more successful? And the only way to overcome some of the things that people face is talking about other, other successes, right? So success definitely needs to be put out there. Video is a way to do that. Let's talk about the most common consumed video styles, right? Okay. Well, the most popular ones right now are the reels on Instagram and now the shorts on YouTube. And of course, we have TikTok, right? These are the most consumed style of video there is, right? I can tell you right now, just as an insider tip, you can increase your followers on Instagram by doing a reel a day. And it doesn't even have to be something you create. You can just, you know, uh, lip sync a song or one of the thing, one of the voices on there, right? And if you do one a day, your your followers will increase tremendously, right? There you go. There's a tip right there. One yeah, exactly. reel a day. Keep the one reel a day. It could be it could be something already out there that's trending, um, you know, and you just do that that kind of thing. Or you can talk about solar in a cool way, right? You can talk about your business, your company, your hiring, your recruiting. You know, you have a promotion. There's a lot of things you could talk about, but just do one reel a day and watch your Instagram follower followers go up, right? Can I ask you a question on that really quick? Yeah. Go ahead. Do you think mixing it up business and personal is good? Do you think too much business is not good? Just some of your thoughts on that. I mean, obviously, the more you can niche down to what you do, the specific part of what you do, the better. But, you know, some people do the mix. I, I My personal Instagram is not... The greatest example, but I do a mix of business and some personal things as well. But if you're a company page, you want to obviously be very specific and stay on target. If you're, you know, a person like myself or, or you, Joe, you know, you might do multiple things, right? You might have your hand in other things. So you might want to mix it up. You might want to talk about family. You want to, you might want to sing a song or that. these are the things that help people actually like you, right? And when we're robotic and we're just talking about our product all the time, you know, it, it, it can really take the human part of, of everybody out, right? So the so, biggest tip is here, learn karaoke, everybody, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's not hard now. I mean, even uh, TikTok and, uh, and, and, and Instagram Reels, they, they delay the, the video so your voice matches up better. I don't know if you guys know that, but, you know, I only knew that because I started doing it, right? So All right. These See, are the I two, didn't know that. That's yeah. Cool. So these are the two uh, or the three most consumed styles of video, TikTok. Instagram uh, reels and stories. And then of course, uh, YouTube, uh, by the way, YouTube shorts is, is exploding right now. So YouTube shorts is the version of, of TikTok on YouTube. So definitely not, not only do YouTube, but also do the shorts. So let's talk about this kind of video interview style, right? When you can interview someone, it brings a great presence, right? Like put your best, uh, Barbara Walters or Mike Wallace, Put your best Larry King live, you know, kind of deal on. Solar Joe does that. And you got, you do that, Joe. And when you do that, it brings some real credibility to things, right? So interview style is a great way to do a video, right? The other one is doing. Can we go back on that really Yeah, let's go back. Because interviews, some people feel like, oh, they don't know who to interview. And, you know, they don't have the people in their friends that people care about. Like, I, how I say, I don't know if you can agree with that. It's like, who do you like? Who do you care about? Who do you think can give you val- give value or whatever? And that person is going to be perfect for the audience, no matter what it is. But tell you, like, how do you tell people who do they, you know, how they feel better about picking somebody to interview? Well, just start asking people that you want to learn something from or someone you already know have something to offer that's relevant to your business or maybe your style. I mean, you can start off with your own staff, your own employees or your partner. You can start off with your own family, you know? Anything that gets you going and started, right? We talked about this before we came on live, Joe. And you're like, if you look back at, and you said, if you look back at my first going live to now, it's it's progressed big time. Well, here's the thing. You started, which is what, what you have to do to make anything great. You have to start, right? So you're not going to get everything perfect, especially in the beginning, but just start somewhere, interview people, start getting used to asking questions. And even if you already know the answers, remember the audience is what's really important here, right? So interview style video is so easy now. I mean, this is what's really going on right here is, you know, Joe's interviewing me, I'm doing a presentation, but, you know, interview style with these technology out there is so easy to do now. I would recommend doing it. 
Or you can do an actual production where you sit down on a couch in a nice background. It's warm and cozy. And you can do the whole, you know, Bob Walter set up and, and ask the questions, right? Either way, get that video out there and start doing interview style videos, right? Love it. Another one is tours, right? People like to see, especially if you're a brick and mortar, right? If you're a solar company that has, you know, a real location, you have offices, even if you're just a sales org, do a video tour, right? It doesn't have to be one that goes over everything and every situation, but maybe a quick one to two minute video showing, you know, hey, this is this is Joe who takes care of this. This is James who takes care of that. This is Jamie who takes care of that, right? And just kind of give them some face to name. And these video tours really work tremendous, right? So I've done this in every business I've been a part of, as well as the clients I work with. And it really helps. It's kind of a behind the scenes type video where people can see what you're about and it brings more credibility as well. Mm. So obviously video is about culture, especially if you're trying to recruit teams. And, and I, as you guys, you know, we already know we're rec recruiting all the time, right? If you're in solar, you're in sales, you're recruiting all the time and creating videos about the culture, whether someone's speaking about their experience working with you and your company or just showing a meeting or what it's like, what would be, what would it be like to work at your company? Well, video can capture that, right? And even if it's only for a minute or two, put some videos out there that sh capture the culture or some of the vibe that comes off of what your company offers. This is a great recruiting tool by just creating a culture type video so that you can use it and post it. And then, you know, obviously you can send people that are thinking about working for you. Maybe they filled out an application. You can post it on YouTube, optimize the, the video and actually get recruits. So these videos are really good for that, right? So um, trust me, when you do this video, it will help people make a decision to want to not only want to work for you, but they, they feel like they need to work with you. Like they want to be a part of it, right? So that's important. These are the most powerful videos for us, especially in sales, testimonial videos. These are super powerful, right? And Joe, if you don't mind, I'm going to actually pull up a folder of mine that I got and show you a powerful uh, video. Now, this is one of the former companies I had, but uh, let me show you this video. Everybody can see my screen show? Yep. Okay. I see I see the testimonial screens, though. I don't see a video yet. No video? No. Okay. Let's see here. Is it going to only show the window? Yeah, then you might just unshare and share it again if you like. Okay, let's do that. Stop the share. And try to share again. If you guys can tell, Here it is. there you go. Frank knows his marketing from the beginning until now. <laughs> so this is a this is a testimony of a customer who was installed with a company of ours. And so let's watch this real quick. Make it louder. Race every year. There you go. And uh, how I heard about 320 Builder was that uh, I got curious on solar because I read up on it and I saw a sign and I said, well, let me call them. I decided that 320 was the right company because they were honest with me. Uh, they were up front and um, no, no money out of pocket, which is good. And uh, savings, I'm saving money. And that's why uh, I like 320. They were really up front and the experience has been great because uh, the one of the head of the company just, uh, seemed like a real genuine, honest, uh, uh, keep his word. So that's uh, really helpful when you know you have somebody to count. I'm real happy with saving every month uh, when I went solar, especially uh, zero out of pocket. And, um, you know, the, the monthly uh, saving is great. And that's really very happy with that, that I can save all my money and not pay it to the uh, uh, electric company and pay it to myself, especially the 30% that the government gives you back for going solar. That's really an advantage. I have recommended others to uh, solar. Uh, some friends of mine, uh, uh, they have already installed the, uh, the solar panels and I will keep recommending uh, 320 solar. So you guys can see there a great example. This video, you want to ask them? 
Lower the volume. Lower the volume. Lower the volume. Yeah. How about that? Is that better? Yeah, you got perfect. Okay, cool, cool. Sorry about that. Um, but that video right there, and we've we've done several of those videos for many of my own companies, but also clients of ours. That's a powerful video because that's literally a customer saying what you want a new customer or a potential customer to understand. They can have the very same experience. And so not only can you post that on your pages, your YouTube channel, your website, but you can have your salespeople have that at the clip of a button when they're at this kitchen table to play that. And that's almost more powerful than trying to convince someone. I think it's better than a review online because those are words, but this is a video. You can see the person, you can see that they have the, the, the type of conversation and, you know, they're, they're communicating their experience. Right. And if you notice at the end, he even said, I've already referred other people, right. I've already referred other people. And so he's actually hitting on all the things that we want this new potential client to want to do, not only sign up, but also refer other people too. And what do people do? They, they're going to follow other customers like them and they're going to do that as well. So that video is very powerful. Now, uh, Joe, if, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a minute here. How do you get people to do these videos, right? They're busy, right? They don't want to be on camera. You know, everybody, you know, everybody don't think they're a star like me and Joe, right? We're <laughs> camera ready, right? They used to call me one take Frank because I'd be able to do a video without a script, right? So awesome. not everybody's ready to do that. They're intimidated with a the camera. They don't want to necessarily, you know, they got to get everything perfect, right? Well, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to give you a, a little tip. When you have your customer uh, quality team or whoever that is, call to check up on them. You know, hopefully that's right after they sign up, of course. And then obviously after every milestone, you're calling them and checking on them, especially in the first 90 days, right? You're going to invite them. Uh, to allow you to come out and, and do a review, a video review. And by doing so, we're, we're going to offer them, you know, a gift card or whatnot um, to their favorite restaurant or whatever you want to do. If you want to give a, um, a visa gift card, you can do that as well. That gives them, that pushes them over the hump from the anxiety and what reason they should do that to actually wanting to be excited about doing it, right? A few extra bucks in their pocket or a free dinner. I heard Mike, Michael Donald talking about that last night. That's what we do to get our customers. You know, we don't, we don't lure them to do it. We just, we get, we reward them for them actually doing it. And what we do is we say, Hey, you know, by doing that, we're going to offer you some, you know, a free steak or free dinner, or even a gift card. If you don't mind sharing your thoughts and expressions, then when you get there, you know, our video team is trained to help them, with what things they should talk about. Now, if they don't want to talk anything positive, obviously they're not a good client or a good, uh, a good uh, you know, candidate for a video review. And you should know that up front before you even schedule that. But if they have trouble saying certain things or wanting, wanting to ver verbalize without you know, telling them exactly what to say, you're just going to guide them, right? So, hey, you're going to ask a question and the video is going to be edited where, you know, you don't hear that person asking the question. And so you're just asking them certain questions like, hey, how was your experience at, at sign up? How was your experience with the information? What money were you charged? You know, all those things. And then that way you're able to put a video together once you edit it of all the important parts. And so what you saw there was the result of that being done, right? So this person didn't call us and didn't say, hey, we want, I want to do a video. Yeah, that didn't happen. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't happen ever. <laughs> no, it doesn't happen. And I mean, let's be honest. Most people don't tell you how they feel about a company until they have something negative to say, right? Let's be, just be real. Let's be real. Not everybody's proactive. If they're happy, you don't know about it. So you have to be proactive about it as a company. So you call them and say, "Hey, how's everything going, sir, ma'am? Everything great? If everything's great, I'd love to come out and uh, just capture a few minutes of you, you know, talking about that. And if you don't mind, I'd love to bring you a free gift card to take your wife out to dinner." And uh, well, it's only going to take a few minutes to do that. You mind us come by and doing that, right? And then you go there and then you, uh, you just kind of guide them with asking some questions. And you make it super easy and simple for even like an older gentleman like him or anybody to be able to do that without having any kind of fear about it, right? Does That's that your question sense? on that? Yeah. 
So I heard you say video team and production and bring your crew. And not everybody is set up for that, right? Uh, but it's can it still be done on a uh, a layman's kind of uh, income? Uh, is that something we could just get your cell phone out and use your uh, iMovie and get it done that way? Yeah, I mean, doing any version of video is better than none, okay? But um, obviously, you know, Joe, we, we, we can't get away with saying people don't have the money to do it in this industry. Yeah, we make some money in this industry, and at least uh, one of those commissions. I mean, you're gonna make right. money. You might you might spend it, but you'll have it come back again. Well, I mean, this is and this is about reinvesting some of those yeah. proceeds back into growing your business full uh, long term, right? And you know, remember the beginning of this presentation is some of the questions I was going to answer is how do you lower that cost of acquisition? How do you have long term uh, customers coming in without all the ad spend? Now, for those of you who are marketing agencies and you're, you do that, I love all of you guys, you know, Prospect Baked in, Bacon, all those guys, Bill Murphy, all those guys, love all you guys, right? So I'm not, I'm not, I use those. Joe, you probably use it. We all use those, right? This is not hatred towards them. This is just saying, hey, like anybody, we want to bring our, our cost of acquisition down and we want to also continue to have the customer flow still going. And if you notice something, Joe, right? I don't know if you noticed this, but these guys who are marketing agencies, which we love, we love them to death, right? They do their own videos for their I own. I was going to tell you that exactly. We took the words out of my mouth. There's all over <laughs> video. Baby. Right. How do they communicate what they do? How do they communicate the trust and like in, 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 you know, things that we need to know about them? They create video. So true. Right? And so that's what they do for themselves. So this is a powerful thing. So video testimonials, man, that is probably is the most effective version of video, especially in sales, especially for the big ticket, high ticket item that we sell in solar. When you're sitting down with a customer who does not know you from nothing, when, when they got a flyer or they got a cold call or the, even a door knock, or even a, uh, they, they you know, answered an ad and now you're there in their home. Even though you look, you look nice, you did the part, you said all the things, you build rapport. When you play that video for them and a, another gentleman is saying what he said, like that gentleman said, it's a very powerful thing. It's a very powerful thing, right? So that's going to be something you guys want to do. I'm going to go ahead and go back to sharing my screen if you don't care, Joe. Perfect. That's all right. So any questions about that, let us know. I'd love to continue. Yeah, to get in the comments, guys. Uh, we only have Frank for a few more minutes. Um, not a few minutes, but we got a little more time here. But get in the comments. If you have any questions, uh, we'll get to it. Uh, but keep going, Frank. Yeah. So we got behind the scenes, which is, you know, very uh, easy to understand. So any behind the scenes processes, you can do a video of how you install the process, you know. People you love know. behind the scenes. They, right. They behind the scenes up. videos is great. Um, just make sure if you're going to video your install crew, everybody's strapped up so you don't have a visit from OSHA. Oh, that's a good one. People love doing videos, but then they forget that those videos get seen and then you get a knock at the door and you're like, hey, uh, now I got to pay a fine. Wow. <laughs> so make sure your videos and your pictures don't have guys with no straps on there because they will. That sounds they, like they, self experience. Yeah, they, they will show up. <laughs> I have not been fined by OSHA, but I, I will say the other, other people I know have. For Good sure. Information, man. Yep. Uh, and then, of course, we can use video for ads, as we just talked about. The marketers do that. They're they're more powerful. Obviously, use uh, written content as well, but video and ads is, is awesome. Uh, explainer videos. I mean, we know solar's got so many details. It's an economic in, it's an economic thing. It's a emotional thing. But explaining things and explainer videos, Joe. Just so you know, some of the things that we send out. When we're telling the customer in the next step, we actually write it in an email, but we also have a video. Mm -hmm. right? So we're using video even when it comes to internal processes. We use video when it comes to training our reps. We use video. I mean, your platform, Solar Academy, is probably video. I mean, I haven't been on it personally, but I'm sure just by uh, you know knowing you guys, you guys are using video. Explain your videos are awesome, right? Lifestyle video, right? What is it like to live a life after your product is being bought, right? What is that lifestyle video? Now, real quick, Joe, I'm going to go back to sharing, uh, sharing my, uh, my other thing. I'm going to show you a quick uh, video and I'm almost done here, but I want to show you guys a powerful video that we use. And we called this, um, we called this putting the power back in your pocket campaign. And believe it or not, 
And, uh, you know, some of you guys may disagree with this, but I use this in several markets and it got great raving results. I'm going to try to remember which one it is here. But uh, this video right here I'm going to show you is awesome, right? So the sun shines. Can you all see that yet? No, you didn't show your screen yet. All right, let's do this. Back to share. And then there it is. This is a quick video so you guys can see it, right? The sunshine state where we dream big, seek thrills, and take walks on the wild side. But in Florida, basking in the sun isn't just for gators. And our family, going green and saving green, go hand in hand. And when you join the Sun of My Solar family, we help you harness the power of the Florida sun so you and your family can spend less on powering your home and more on making unforgettable memories. Sun of My Solar, we put the power back in Jordan. So that video said nothing. Um, said nothing about zero out of pocket. And it said nothing about tax credit. It said nothing about anything except for it was an emotional play on the benefits of solar, right? And what are the lifestyle benefits after you go solar, right? So that video, believe it or not, even though it doesn't cover anything technical, it doesn't cover anything economic, what does it do? It covers the emotional part. As, as a lot of you guys already know, People need to know the technical information and the economical information about solar. But they still don't buy until they're emotionally hooked. So this video and other videos that we did, we call it the putting the power back in your pocket campaign. I actually tried this in other markets, different states, and it had the same similar results because here's the thing. The, the bottom line is people have emotions and once they see that it's something they can relate to and the results that that emotions bring up, it becomes more of an open door of, of doing more sales, right? So guys, when you talk about doing video, don't just do explainer videos. Don't just do, uh, you know, you know, informational videos, but also do videos that really is going to provoke that emotion, right? So product high, spotlights and more, right? But here's our goal. Like I just said, we want to evoke emotion, be educational and entertaining. So yes, you want to give information, but don't be boring, right? Give them something that they can actually remember, right? You know, we, we're talking about like lizards who sell insurance. We're talking about <laughs> cavemen that created a movie to sell. You know, these are the type of things that these bigger companies do. So I'm not telling you anything new, but evoke emotion, be educational, and be entertaining, right? So when you create a video, have those three things in mind, right? So let me tell you real quick, uh, Joe, our, our process. This is a process that I think is going to be key for you guys e executing this and doing it effectively. Remember the th three things I said, quality, simplicity, and frequency? Well, each and every month, you're going to shoot two videos. You're going to have two video shoots, right? One shoot is geared towards the business side, right? And, the, and that's going to cover story. It's going to cover a tour. It's going to be an interview. That's going to be behind the scenes. The second video, uh, video shoot is going to be get, go, geared towards the client side, right? Product spotlights, promotions, client testimonials. And then this footage, you're going to take this and you're going to actually edit it down to 15 to 20 pieces of, of content, right? Now, you may not be an editor. I'm not an editor. But, you know, you can hire people online through Fiverr.com. You can go and there's and it's cheap. It's cheap. You can get this done very quickly, right? If you guys can click an email or even show, you know, watch this video, you can do this, right? Take the video footage and get it edited down to 15 to 20 pieces of content, right? And then you're going to take that 15 to 20 pieces of content and you're going to sort it out and distribute it to all the major social media uh, platforms, right? Now, how do you do that? Well, there's services that allow you to do that. You know, you have like Hootsuite, you have these other services like Sendable, Get one of those services and preload it up and get it out there, right? And, of course, these are all the major platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, you know, TikTok, all those things, right? I have a question on that really quick. Yeah. Go ahead. Go back one screen because all those are completely different platforms from each other and the audiences are expecting different kinds of content. 
Um, some of them are similar, obviously stories and reels and all the shorts and all that stuff. But do you feel like doing the same content on all of them is a good idea? Or do you think you should really be picking and choosing of which one you're putting it on? Yeah, well, no, you should put it on all of them. Okay. Even if it's the same content, of course, you're not going to show the whole video. You're going to show clips and those clips are going to be formatted not only by size, but also the thing that's going to, you know, get the best traction and, and engagement. So even if it's TikTok, remember TikTok began with kids, but now it's more our age. And, you know, I'm sorry, but everybody's dancing to all the songs now. <laughs> You're dancing, Frank. You got some yeah. dancing videos. We're on dancing, man. We're dancing. You okay. <laughs> I, I get down. I may not be able to get up again, but I get down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like so, that. so these videos don't worry about if it's relatable to the platform, worry about it, getting at, getting it out there. That's okay. the first element, right? Get it out there. And yes, you might have to format it. Yes, you may have to, you know, kind of uh, pick the best clip, but just get it out there. So you're going to include uh, on all your profiles, all your profiles and all the network profiles. So there's three elements, your profiles, any of the extended profiles. Like, for example, Joe, it'd be your profiles and then all your company's profiles. And then create a network of profiles like your staff, your team. We have a staff of team. You know, we get a hey, push this out there to everybody. Share it, share it, share it. Right. Mm, that's a good point. Can. That's a lot right. of people forget about everybody else that they're always around. They just get it to them and share because a lot of people way might want to do it on your team. They just don't know how to do it, what to do, what yeah. to say. And if you just give it to them what to do, boom, make it easy for them. Yeah. So we have a, a, an explainer video of how to easily share anything, but we also make a precedent which is if you work for this company or any company that we're putting content out to share it because it's helping you keep a job. <laughs> it's helping yeah. you get paid, right? It's helping us spread the word and, and stay on mission. Right. So share it, you know, and of course there's some people who don't have social media as much as others, whatever, whatever, but if you do get it out there and share it as much and that you're helps. Saying, you're saying make it part of your culture. Make it yeah. Make it a part of your culture that, Hey, the standard is let's spread the word. We're not asking you to do anything that would hurt you. We're asking you to help help us and it'll help you as well, right? Yep. So uh, then you take the video content and we're going to also help you. You're, you're going to want to put it on your email list, your website, of course. And then, of course, text messaging is huge nowadays. You can send it through a link that they click on and watch. And then there's other platforms like Videomo and there's, you know, these other platforms that you can put videos on that are a little extended. You know, we even have WordPress, Blogger, and Medium. These are other ways to do that, right? The cool mm -hmm. thing about this is there's editors that will grab all the, the content of the video and um, transcribe it and type it up for you. And it's robots to do that. And then you can throw it out as actual written content, right? So that helps you actually get more uh, pull from your video, right? So that's one way you can do that. You might talk about this already, but let me know what talk about like using the audio from your video and putting that on audio platforms. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you have audio, like, especially if you're doing podcasts or whatnot or anything, you can splice together and edit, put it on all the podcast platforms, get it out there. Anchor, uh, obviously Apple, iTunes, Spotify, any of those audio uh, platforms will help us out. I guess what I mean was like using video, you can actually take that video and make it an audio content also. Like it could be right. extra content for you. Yeah. From video, you get everything you need. And that's the thing. You can even get pictures off of the video. You can get clips. You can obviously get um, little scenes, but you also get written content. You also get, like you just said, audio content. So video is where you can create a lot of content by just doing one video, right? Um, now let's talk about when you would want to do this, right? Cause that's important. So here's a, uh, updated one from Facebook. The best times that get the most engagement on Facebook, believe it or not. Screenshot this, everybody screenshot it. <laughs> Go ahead. It's Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Friday, right? Between nine and 1 PM. Mm. Right. And if you can see the dark boxes, that's when the most people are there, the most engaging, right? So it's like lunchtime when everybody's not working. All right. So they're at lunch and they're looking at their Facebook. They're looking at their Instagram. They're on, on TikTok. That's when you want to have these videos out there ready to go. Right. Don't post then have them ready to be viewed then, which is very important. Right. So guys take a screenshot of that and use that. So, you can know, 
Now we're going to take all the content posted and pair it with funnels, links, and, con and, and, and content information so you can get the most out of it, right? So just link it up to your websites, link it up to your forms, link it up to a text or phone number, how they can get a hold of you. Always have a call to action in the, in the actual content with a video. And then you're going to do this every other day. Now, how the heck are you going to do this every other day? That's a lot of work. <laughs> when you use these systems like the, you know, Hootsuite or the Sendable, when you have these in place, you're going to have so much video content that you're going to be able to preload it and pre-schedule it. And it's going to do it for you. Right. Or obviously you can hire a VA or you can hire an assistant you, or you can have some of your team that already is on your, your staff do this for you. It's, it doesn't take as much time as it, you know, it's, it seems right. All you have to do is start doing it and be consistent with it. But I would recommend every other day, post this every other day during those times, you'll see great results. All right. Now, and then you're going to repeat this process each and every month, you know, two shoots, 15 to 20 pieces of content distributed on all the platforms every other day. Right. So here's our strategy in a nutshell. Now you may have heard this from other people, but it's like planting trees, right? If you, you know, Grant Cardone's talked about this, but your target shouldn't be just to create shade which is what ads can do if that's all you do. If all you do is door knock, you're creating shade. If all you do is ads, you're creating shade. If all you do is bandit signs, you're creating shade. If all you do is one form of marketing, you're just creating shade. Your target is to create a forest. You want to create a forest, right? And the only way you create a forest is to continue to consistently plant trees, one after another after another. And like we just said, every other day, you're creating content, putting out there video content. And in the beginning, you're not going to see a lot of results. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's a slow process in the beginning. When you plant trees, you don't see anything that has to do with what you did, right? But eventually- doesn't mean it's not working, right? That doesn't mean it's not growing. Just if, you don't, if you don't have patience, you're, you're not going to have money either, right? Just so you guys know, when it comes to this, you got to have patience, right? But eventually something amazing happens, Joe. All those trees you planted begin to grow, making what you're doing unignorable. That's actually a word, guys. I didn't make it up. That's a real <laughs> word. Okay. You looked it up. <laughs> you can become unignorable. And if, if I planted a tree a day, Joe, in the same area constantly, consistently, eventually a forest is going to create a forest which is unignorable. One tree, uh, you know, I may not see it. Two trees, yeah, okay. But when I got all these trees I planted, eventually they're going to pop up and they're going to create a dominant force. And that's what this video marketing strategy does. It's not just using the power of video. It's executing on how to use these platforms to get the most out of the video, right? So when you advertise on a billboard or with a TV commercial, when you advertise even on Facebook ads or YouTube ads, as soon as you stop paying, what happens? Gone. Done. Video is gone. The content is gone. The ad is gone. But these are platforms that they would need your content because that's what their, their platform is based on. TikTok does not take written content. It takes video. So it needs your video. So if you post something for free on there that you don't use a paid ad, it's going to stay on there. YouTube, same thing. They're a video platform. I have videos that I posted, Joe, that if you look, I'm a lot thinner. I got a lot <laughs> more hair in 2016 when I first was in solar. And I won't name the company, but this, you can tell what it is on the front that still get leads today because I created a video, put it on YouTube and said, hey, go solar, zero out of pocket and all the, you know, the whole thing that most rookies do when they get in the game, they say the same thing over and over again. And I still get leads from that. Here's why. Because it hasn't been deleted. It's still on YouTube. Now, do I get like hundreds of leads a day? No, I get <laughs> one or two you know, leads a week and half of them turn into appointments and half of those turn into sales. I'm not paying no one for that, right? It's there because it's never been deleted. And what happens over time is YouTube begins to see a momentum with that, right? Because it's optimized, it's ready to go. So that's what, that's what you're doing. You're doing all that over and over again. And that never goes away. So we've, we've discovered high quality, engaging, consistent video content, creating a four strategy produces an omnipresence. And I have done this in several markets with several companies, including my own. And you will get the response, man, you're everywhere. When you're really not that, you may not even be that big of a company. 
but because of the video presence that you put out there. Joe, just so you know, um, every company I've been a part of, whether I started it or was a part of it, the first thing I did is created a, a media team mm -hmm. and invested. You know, if you're if you're a business owner or a solar business owner and you're not investing a good portion of your money, not just in paid ads. I know the paid ad guys are going to you know, not like that. But in a media team. You're 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 not you're actually riding a ride that's may potentially not be sustainable. Because if anything changes, algorithms, you know, Facebook decides to change targeting or tries to, you know, you know, take out iPhone users. It's going to change. The, it's, you're going to you're going to be now, you know, looking for other ways to get your customers. Can you, you talk do, about that a little bit? You know, some people yeah. are worried about putting making a presence on a big social media platform like Facebook or TikTok and then something happening to that platform. Does it still make sense for them? Even if they like Facebook went away, that presence is still going to be helpful when they do join other platforms. Right. If you're following the strategy I gave you, which is all platforms every other day. Yep. If something changes, you will be able to ride it and overcome it pretty easily. Right. You know, there used to be a, a Twitter had vines. Remember vines back in the day? It was yeah. like, it was kind of like TikTok before TikTok. And, yeah. and they decided one day not to do it no more. Right. Well, if you were, if you were using only vines to create business opportunities or to be funny and then it went away, what do you think happened? You're done. Dunsky. Well, yeah. Well, you're, 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 if you're not done, you got a, you got a little ways to go to recreate something. So that's yeah. why I recommend. With technology, Joe, with these things out there where they can send everything out for you automatically, it should be no reason why you can't be on all the platforms, even formatted for the video size and all that for yourself. These, there's technology out there that does it for you. Just get it loaded up and, and schedule it and then be on all the platforms because if anything happens, you're able to withstand anything that comes against it, right? So this creates more customers and more business long term. If you don't have patience, you ain't got money. If you're going to spend money and every time you want to create more business, you have to go buy more ads. I understand that. I do it myself. I'm not against that. But where are you going to eventually bring your cost down? How are you going to get customers when maybe ads or the platform you're using to get paid ads changes? So that's a question you got to do. So that's an unignorable ultimate marketing strategy for long-term success. And uh, guys, I told you, I give you a gift. And just text GIFT to 813-686-6556. I'd actually put a link in that text when you when it replies back to you of this whole entire presentation. So you got that. And then I'm also giving you a free video of all the strategies we use to actually get the video out there. So the, there's a free gift. There's actually a free gift and a bonus if you text that GIFT to 813-686-6556, right? And then Joe, finally, and this is the last thing, for some of you who don't want to do this because you don't have time, you don't want to focus on this, you just want to serve customers. We love we love those type of business owners and we love those type of people that are out there. We have a done for you service, which literally do, does everything for you, including shooting the video, including editing the video, including even distributing the video content for you on all the platforms, doing it every other day. And the ROI on that is tremendous. We're talking four to five times what you spend working with us within the first year, right? Because at the end of the day, it's a long-term play, right? If you think that you're going to get a quick ROI, you're not, you're not our client because that's what prospect begging, begging is for. That's what Bill Murphy's for. That's what these other guys are for. They give you the, the quicker customer because you guys, you know, we all need that. But if you're trying to build a brand where you, can outlive some of the guys who don't want to do a brand. They just want to get the quick, quick butt buck. Then you, you want to talk to us, right? So give me a call, go to my website there. And if you're interested in figuring out how this would work, how much it would cost, I promise you I've done this in different markets. And if you looked at the videos I just showed you with the testimonials, the emotions, these build brands and people start to recognize you. And then as soon as what happened, Joe, what happens as soon as they think of your product or someone says something about a product that you offer, they subconsciously say, hey, I know a guy when they ain't never even met you so because true. they saw video after video after video. So I hope this was helpful for some of you guys and I hope it made sense. Like I said in the beginning, Joe, it wasn't really anything rocket science or new, but it's really just about the execution of it. If you take that strategy and start executing on it, you will see results, not just for today, but long term. 
and you'll be able to you'll be able to bring that acquisition cost down and you'll be able to build a brand that outlives and outlasts some of the other things that may you know what you know what other people are depending on heavily on right so love it man uh, that was awesome i really appreciate you coming on here we only have a few minutes left and we got a couple of questions i want to get in before yeah. uh re wrap it up first question i have is once we follow this and we do become solar famous how do we stop the paparazzi from following us <laughs> well, hey that's that's a that's a different issue that's not an issue i can really uh, help you with but uh you know, that's, no, where you a, that, that, that's where you build a team. You got like Suge Knight walking with you. And you, got, <laughs> you got other people with you. You know what I mean? You have to build a little posse around you at that point. No, I'm just joking. But you got a question here about um, targeting. Um, now, like when you're on Facebook, you're targeting videos. Should we be targeting kind of a specific demographic or should we be like running general ads? What do you think is a better strategy? Well, I mean, a lot of what I've talked about wasn't really about paid ads, but, you know, obviously you want to, in this case with solar, you're, you're, you're targeting homeowners and you might be specifically going after a certain demographic of homeowners, a certain uh, income class of homeowners. And so when you create a video, keep those homeowners in mind. I wish in our industry, Joe, and this is kind of a soapbox situation that we would have more companies that focused on the client, right? And not just the product. We all know solar is great. Uh, you know, no offense to you, Joe. I mean, you got your name is Solar Joe. How about Homeowner Joe? There you go. Right? Where's Homeowner Joe at? Where is the homeowners at? We talk about solar like it's the next Jesus Christ, right? And I know it's great, and I love it. It's it's made me wealthy and many other people wealthy. I'm sure you're wealthy because of it too. So I'm very grateful. But where is the homeowner in all this, right? And I know we we serve homeowners great, but we need to start talking about the homeowners and showing them benefits better. So some of the marketing that I would do if I was working with you would be specific to talking and speaking home, home, home homeowner type language. Right. And that's where you're going to get different. You're going to set yourself apart because every solar company is zero out of pocket. Solar does this, solar does that. And you know, solar is going to give you this and solar. What about the homeowner, right? Where, where's the homeowner uh, getting it's talk to, you know, in speech, right. Working it's relatability at, so you can stand out by doing some of those things. So keep those, those homeowners in mind when you're creating video and you're targeting. All right. Last question. And I promise I'll let you go, Frank. Um, but this is for more of the, the new guys getting into it. Like, talk about maybe a mistake or a point of failure that most people just getting started may not know or think about to watch out for. Uh, well, I mean, obviously over promising, you know, um, if you don't know something, don't act like you do. Don't fill in the answer. Just, you know, build confidence uh, with that customer or with you, who you're talking about, talking to by just being honest and saying, hey, I don't know this, but I know someone who does. And I'm going to let me consult with them right now. And a lot of a lot of people trying to uh, they're afraid to lose the opportunity, lose the sale. And if they don't know the answer, they feel, feel like that's going to cause them to lose the sale. No confidence in finding the answer will do the job just as well. Right. So. In the beginning, most guys don't know everything when it comes. You got a customer who's asking you all the technical questions and you're like, hey, come on, man. I am not the technical guy here. I'm just a guy trying to help you understand the benefits of solar. And you want to ask me where uh, the piping goes and whether it's, you know, 220 hot and all the stuff in them. Like, man, I didn't I didn't I'm, I'm not getting on the roof. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm 300 and none of your business pounds. You don't want me on your roof. I'm going to tell you why you should go solar and I'm going to hire the best guy who's going to do it right the first time. So let me ask him and then I'll get back to you. Is that okay? So, you know, just confidence, even if you don't know the answer. So a lot of guys don't want to do that because they're afraid to lose stuff. Matter of fact, Joe, just so you know, I train all the guys that we are deal with to tell people right out the gate, the three things solar doesn't do. Mm. And most people don't even want to talk, touch that because what that does is it creates, you know, that trust because you're like, Everybody can tell you what the benefits are. You know, the pillars. I'm, here's the pillars of solar. I mean, it, we're like robots. Everybody can tell you the pillars. But what about what solar doesn't do? And what that actually does is build trust. And what that does is actually give you opportunity to sell other things along with solar, like, you know, battery backup, et cetera, et cetera. And so, you know, a lot of our guys really get into right off the gat. Let me tell you three things it doesn't do. You know, and it just changes the whole thing. So, but yeah, 
Sorry, I went on the camera. Thank you so much, Frank, for being out here, taking this hour to help our students and the uh, solar Western audience get a little more familiar with marketing and video. Um, last thing, uh, any last thoughts, anything you want to leave with us, be be the audience, before you get out of here? Yeah, man, you guys keep doing what you're doing. Uh, solar Joe, Jake, you guys with Solar Con, man. Uh, solar Objections, man, what a great opportunity. What a great tool you guys have created. Um, I've made some of my new hires go through literally every post on Solar Objections Love and it. write an Excel sheet of all of them and all the answers. Right. So that way they have a whole index of how to overcome objections. Right. So there's so much value in what you guys are doing. So keep doing that, guys. Be consistent with that. And then, like I said before, if you guys need any help with this video marketing, I'd be glad to even give you all the strategy over the phone with no obligation. I'm here to help, man. That's unbelievably awesome. Everybody, that is Frank Emmons coming from the great state of Florida. 